For years, deep water cultures have been a great way to grow things hydroponically. So today I wanna to show you guys exactly how I build my DWCs. So let's get right into it. Of course, like usual, I made a guide for you guys. So check the description box for a link for that. It's totally free. I also put some maintenance stuff in it that I'm not gonna cover in this video. So it gives you a little extra bonus. So what you're gonna to need to make a deep water culture. We need a five gallon bucket with a lid. We're gonna need a net cup of your choosing size. And you're also gonna need the associated hole saw to make the hole in the top of the lid for the net cup. We need a rock wool cube. We need hydrogen clay pebbles. We need an air pump. With as many air stones as you'd like to put in, the more the better. I'm gonna do two in this one. So we also need air stones and then the lines. Usually you can get kits that all come together. We're gonna need our hydroponic nutrients, hydrogen peroxide, and I use cheap pool noodles to fill in my holes in the top of the bucket. We'll get to that here in a second. So first step, let's fill our bucket. I'm using reverse osmosis water. I'm just gonna fill my bucket three quarters of the way up. Then I'm gonna mix my nutrients. I'm mixing them according to this chart right here, which you can get in the description box. And I'm using General Hydroponics Flora Series. And then after we add our nutrients, we're also going to add the appropriate amount of food grade H2O2, which I'll put the ratio on the screen right there for you. All right, next I'm going to measure my PPM and my EC to make sure I'm where I want to be. Looking good. Then I'm going to measure my pH, and that looks great too. All right, so now we can start assembling this garden. Next I'm going to put the air stones in the bottom with the lines hanging out. Then I'm going to run them through the top of the lid. Typically, uh, you would have to drill these holes in the top of the lid, and typically you probably wouldn't have this many holes. This is just a lid that I had around and I really could not find my hole saw to save my life before I made this video. So I've had to just reuse one of my old lids. That's where the pool noodles come in. I use the pool noodles and cut them up to fill these holes. These pool noodles have been used and abused. Clearly they've been used a few too many times because they hardly fit. So. So later today, I'm going to cut up more pool noodles to make more hole fillers here. And so I'll make a quick YouTube short for you guys on that. So I'm gonna run my air lines through these side holes and then use these noodles just to kind of fill the hole and hold the hoses. All right, then we're gonna put our neck cup in the center and we want the water line to be right at the bottom of the neck cup. So if we put it in there and we plug in our air stone to our air pump, and plug that in, we'll be able to see the bubbles right at the bottom and that'll give us a good indicator of if the water needs to be raised or lowered and mine needs to go up a little bit. So I'm gonna raise my water until I can start to see some bubbles. There we go. That's the perfect water line for your deep water culture to get started. So next we're gonna take our plant and put it in the neck cup and then hold it while we place these hydrogen clay pebbles around. We want our neck cup and we want our plant to be all the way at the bottom of the neck cup so the roots are touching the water immediately. And gently hold your plant while you pour the hydrogen clay pebbles around. Okay, one thing to note, if you're not using the one-way valves with your air pump, you're gonna to wanna to make sure your air pump is elevated above your garden's height. If it's not and the air pump turns off, then water will siphon out and down through the air pump and make a huge mess of everything and empty out your garden. Another thing regarding the air pump, I run them for 24 hours a day and if you can get your air pump to be outside of the warmer growth environment, like if you're in a tent or something that's really warm, you can pull fresh air into that tent uh, with your air pump by placing it outside of the tent and allowing that to pull fresh air in to be circulated through the water and then up and through your plant. So why not optimize every little angle we can here? All right, well check out the description box for all those guides and links and I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video, so let's grow together.